Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Uh, this is going to be an unusual review since I'm not talking about a specific product. However, I've had several interactions with Wahoo customer service over the years, and I thought I'd review that overall. So I purchased a 2014 uh, first generation kicker when it first came out, uh, and it's been pretty much bomb proof. It worked out of the box, hasn't stopped working. Um, now fast forward to 2018 when Wahoo released the Climb. To use the Climb, I needed to upgrade to the 2018 kicker. Now 2018 seemed to be a poor production year for Wahoo, so much so that Wahoo CEO did a YouTube interview with DC Rainmaker about the issues they were having and how they plan to resolve them. It's a shorter story, so I'll start with the climb. As a new product, there were some growing pains, however, it essentially worked as planned. After a year and a half, it did stop working. I forget how, but I managed to diagnose that it was the power supply, or at least that's what my opinion was. Wahoo support agreed, and they wound up sending me a new supply, power supply, even though it was six months outside of the warranty. So that's a pretty good customer ser service success story right there. Now going back to the 2018 kicker itself, I did experience all the things regarding Wahoo's production issues. The store-bought kicker started making a grinding noise a couple weeks after purchase. I contacted Wahoo support, described the problem, sent a scan of my receipt, and no questions asked, they sent me a replacement. Packing up a Wahoo Kicker is a nuisance, but Wahoo made it as easy as possible by providing a FedEx label, so all you need to do is box it up and call for pickup. So that first warranty replacement unit arrives after about a week and a half to here in Toronto. And I'm good to go, at least for a couple of weeks when that unit breaks. Uh, that one suddenly stopped displaying power, um, and as it was explained to me, a poor quality power supply tended to short circuit one of the chips on the board or something. Um, but anyways, I go through the same uh, warranty replacement process, describe the problem, send in a receipt, they send me a FedEx label and off it goes. About another 10 days later, uh, I get a third Wahoo kicker and that would be the third one that I got in about a two month period after my original purchase. But since then, it's been three years of smooth sailing. So we'll now jump forward, it's November 2021, it's been three years to the date of my purchase of the 2018 kicker and it develops a very heavy vibration at speed and a squeak when it's just slow at slower speeds and I'm under no expectations this will be covered by warranty. I take it to my local bike shop hoping they can fix it, uh, but they can't because the bearing that's an issue is inaccessible. So I come back home, contact Wahoo and ask if there's a certified repair center in Toronto because I really do not want to pack this up for shipping. I really just want to drop it off. At first I'm annoyed because despite my description, my thorough description, Wahoo seems to give me the cut and paste form asking for what the problem is, when did I buy it, please send a receipt. To, to my surprise, I did send a copy of the receipt and they continue with the standard warranty process, including sending me a FedEx shipping label. At this point, I want to be extra safe and I clarify that the unit is three years old because I don't want to be on the hook for two directions of shipping of a big heavy box plus an expensive repair. Their reply was this, and I quote, We offer support on all of our devices past the warranty period when they are affected by a manufacturing issue. That is our stand not only behind the 2018 Wahoo Kicker, but all of our trainers and devices. So at this point, I'm very impressed by Wahoo support. I pack up my broken unit, ship it away, and again, 10 days later, a refurbished 2018 kicker arrives at my door. It looks brand new, has all the accessories, comes in a brand new box. I'm even happy to report that the power discrepancy issue has now been resolved too, and it accurately matches what my pedal-based power meters say. Now, I've only used Wahoo Smart Trainers, uh, and I can't compare or contrast them to a competitor's unit or a competitor's customer service. However, given my experience with Wahoo, and a replacement, a full warranty replacement after three years of ownership, I think that deserves a solid thumbs up.